Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing well. Uh, this isn't going to be like my normal chipper video because uh, quite frankly, I'm not really happy, but it's something I got to get out to you guys. I think it's very important and it is about the cost price index, the inflation numbers that came out of Wall Street today. I'm going to do my best to pick my words very carefully, okay, because uh, I made a live stream for you guys this morning because I'd made a prediction uh, about a day or two ago about where I believe the inflation numbers were going to be and that Wall Street was going to be totally wrong. Now, I wasn't 100% right, but uh, I got most of it right. And uh, I did this live stream and the algo would not take it out. They just would not push it out. Um, I've had some issues that I don't talk about on the backside of all this. And we have to pick our words wisely and carefully to try and get the truth and information out to people these days. And so what I need is a couple things from you guys. First off, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Trust me, um, go down to the comment section and I'm sure my awesome, incredible subscribers, which this is one of the fastest growing uh, financial channels on YouTube. Uh, I'm not joking. Uh, it is one of the most watched. Uh, this channel gets uh, on average 100 to 150,000 views a day. Very blessed. This channel is amazing and it's because of people like you. Amazing people that know that something's wrong with the system. And I've been warning people for about a year and a half now and been able to nail certain uh, key time points and targets and that's not to brag it's because i've been an investor for like 25 years and i was an accredited investor when i was 25 made my first million back then and uh i've been into a lot of different things crypto real estate oil um all kinds of stuff okay so but these are very serious times that i'm trying to warn people about okay so that, again this is about the cpi and the inflation so let me just give you a brief overview i don't have any notes with me or anything like that um Analysts and uh, these, these smart people, I call them, the people with the degrees that have the name badge and say, listen to me, I know more than you about finances. That's actually not true. Most of these people are under, uh, what is it, like 80% of the world's money right now is managed by people uh, uh, under 35 years old, right? People that, that, and I'm not trying to diss uh, all financial advisors, and I'm not trying to diss people that are in finance, all right? But I do want to call a spade a spade. I remember uh, buying and selling real estate back in 2001 and getting advice from property managers, real estate agents, escrow officers that didn't even own their own home. And uh, I love building teams, but at a certain point when they're all arguing with you and they're, they're disagreeing with you, I have to go, okay, at this point, first off, whose property you know, are we talking about? And secondly, do you guys own any property? We have to get people back to reality. And this world wants to tell you that you can't control your money. And I know it sounds like a crazy rant, but this is very, very important that people hear this right now. So guys, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. And the reason why, you've got to push it through the algo. They don't want people to understand this stuff. They want you to think that finance is very uh, convoluted, very uh, hard to uh, navigate. So you shouldn't do it. You should let a money manager do it. And in all reality, they only make money two ways by selling you their prepackaged uh, crap in most instances, and then moving your money around and charging you fees. All right. So the CPI numbers came out today and Wall Street, all of those smart people were telling you that they expected inflation to drop. All right. They were expecting a lower inflation number. All right. And that is not what happened. A higher inflation number came out. And what I said the other day is I said, I wouldn't be surprised uh, if inflation hit 9% this month, I, totally blowing away analysts. It still blew away analysts because people expected uh, inflation to lower, and that's not true. So again, we're seeing this all over. Um, the professionals are telling you that these stocks are okay. They're telling you that everything's okay. Don't worry about it as the insiders sell and the market continues to drop. There are a lot of things. We're gonna get extremely volatile this summer going into fall and fall I'm very concerned with. And I've been telling my subscribers this. So please subscribers, throw down in the comment section what you've learned from this channel. And it's not about me. It's about the, the movement, the cause of helping people hold onto their money and grow wealth during this next crash because that's how the elite make their money. They, they make money as things go down. They don't make it as things go up. It's a very hard concept for most people to understand. But it is very true. I've sat on boards of companies. I've started companies. I own multiple businesses. Um, and, and this is very, very in, inform, important information. So again, as you hit that thumbs up, it forces this video out there because it shows these big companies, oh, this is the information we want. And if you don't give it to us, you go broke. Go woke, go broke. Honestly, that's how it is. Um, so I think it's very, very important for people to get this information. So Wall Street was totally uh, wrong about the CPI numbers. Inflation is getting worse. 
the Federal Reserve is not doing uh, what they're supposed to to, to rein in inflation. Uh, it has gotten away from them. Uh, there's too much liquidity in the market. And now they're they're announcing too, they're gonna drastically pull back liquidity in September. And mark my words, I'm telling you guys, fall is gonna bring some very serious issues. And I want you guys prepared and not scared because when you're prepared, we can take the city, we can take the mountain, no problem. Because we'll have some money in our hands, regardless of your net worth right now. I don't care if you're not a millionaire. I don't care if you if you only have a hundred bucks in your pocket. That hundred bucks you can make a good decision with right now and start today. And then tomorrow you make another good decision, and then another one. And before you know it, you've got lots of money in your pocket. I know a gentleman that started watching this channel a, over a year ago, and he had he was broke. He was going to end it all. He now has over ten thousand dollars in his savings, and has paid off a ton of debt, and is so happy. I'm telling you right now, if you decide today to start to make a change, make a difference in your own life, not only are you gonna help yourself and your family, but then you're gonna be able to turn and help your community and next the world. I want people to understand that. This is very, very important that you understand that. So now all of the professionals out there are telling you, don't worry, we're going through a mild correction. It's a correction when all of the big boys are getting out. And there are people out there telling you the truth, big guys, even billionaires saying, this is serious, this is very serious, get ready. But at the same time, I want you to understand their motives too. They'll tell you, they'll, hey man, this is gonna crash. And then uh, people start to flood out and they get ready to purchase these companies, large swaths of these companies, controlling interests of these companies. And you're gonna start to see uh, certain companies going private. Uh, that's the next wave because they know the profit machine that some of these companies are and if they can turn you negative against these companies then you're going to uh, you know run they're going to get the company for pennies on the dollar and then they're going to take it private and they're going to completely just crush it because the profits are now going into their pockets as opposed to all of the other shareholders okay people need to realize this this is the game and during the last crash, people that held GM stock were completely washed out. It was worthless and it went private and only for them to reissue shares years and years later and, and profit from those shares and then pay off the government loans. This is the game. This is the game. And I don't want you to be a part of that. This is so very serious. Um, so the CPI numbers, you know, the Dow Jones was positive and guys do me a favor. If you guys are still here on this video right now, hashtag inflation, hashtag CPI in this video so I know you guys made it this far. It really helps me out. And again, thank you for smashing that like button. Wall Street was positive, the futures, Dow Jones, Dow, Dow futures were like positive 234 points when I looked. Uh, second, the CPI numbers came out, they went negative like 115, 120 points, something like that. The Dow, the stock market is not liking this. And as this goes on, and you see like the president of the United States come out and tell you, you know, he's gonna be tough, but he's also blaming other people. He's just, there's no like, hey, we gotta take care of this. The government needs to take care of this. Who cares what side of the aisle you're on? The government needs to stop spending money. The government needs to stop blowing money all over the world because right now I know you get it because that's for political reasons. But you're, you're gonna sell your country out, your countrymen out. That's what's happening. That's why I want to be a part of the greatest army of human beings ever to come together, get out of debt, get out of this system, be solid, own real things. I know it looks crazy right now. Bitcoin's going down. Uh, gold not really going down that much. Uh, silver going down. Uh, real estate starting to turn down, right? And But what you don't realize is it's only perceived value versus the dollar. And the only reason the dollar is strong right now is because it is sell people are selling their assets right now because of massive margin calls that are happening right now before your eyes, but behind the scenes. If you aren't a part of this financial realm like I have been for 25 years, you can't see it, but they are selling, raising cash for two reasons. Margin calls to pay off margin debt, which is at record highs right now. And the second reason is because they know something bad's happening. They're raising cash to take advantage of you panicking a few months from now, or actually around the fall, and they're gonna buy it up for pennies on the dollar. So the dollar perceived value is high, but remember that's only uh, perceived value versus other currencies. Okay, that is what's important. And mostly the Euro. The Euro is a basket case right now, literally. So that's why the dollar is bumping. It's uh, literally 25, 24 year high right now. You go back to 1999 and right now we're sitting in the Dixie at 103, 104. And sorry, I don't wanna get too technical. I'll keep it, try and keep it vanilla. But it's like, you know, bumping that that resistance point. And I'm gonna be honest with you, it would take it, an act of God for it to, to, to shoot past it. But I'm gonna be honest with you, I think it's gonna be an act of God and it's gonna come down because all fiat currencies are falling right now and the proof is, is inflation. That's your proof. They don't want you, they want you in their system of debt. They don't want you in, 
in real tangible assets. That's why it's so vital. So guys, thank you for watching. I'm gonna try and upload this and see what happens. I think it's gonna crush it because you guys are awesome. The Economic Ninja is out.